prior to any work on your equipment, make certain that the power has been turned off. Follow other safety precautions outlined in the operator's manual. And be sure to wear all recommended safety equipment prior to engaging in any maintenance procedure. For replacing guide blocks for serial numbers between 3500 and 49,999, the following parts are required. Four guide blocks. All appropriate hardware for lasers with serial numbers between 3500 and 49,999 is included in the guide block replacement kit. Two nylon blocks. One nylon shim. There are six basic steps for replacing the guide blocks. Step one, do not remove the rollers. Turn adjusting knob until the two nylon blocks fit between the roller shafts. Next, carefully insert the nylon shim between the head and the track. Adjust knob until roller shafts securely touch the nylon blocks. Step 2. Inspect the guide blocks for wear. If they're worn, either rotate the guide blocks or replace with new guide blocks. Step 3. For lasers with serial numbers less than 20,137, insert a new guide block over the pin and loosely install hex flat screws. Do not tighten screws at this point. Also, do not use washers for heads with serial numbers lower than 20,137. This is important because the use of washers will lead to decreased clamping strength on these lasers. Repeat this step on the remaining three guide blocks. For lasers with serial numbers 20,137 to 49,999, position guide block in the appropriate position, placing washer over guide block and loosely installing two socket head cap screws into each guide block. Next, place a supplied pressure washer over the guide block with the slight curve facing inward. Then, loosely install two socket head cap screws into each guide block, being careful not to over-tighten the screws. Step 4. On one side of the roller laser head, compress the top and bottom guide blocks together with your fingers. Then, finish tightening the screws. Step 5. Repeat steps 3 and 4 on the opposite side of the head. Step 6. Remove nylon blocks and shim. It is always a good idea to check for ease of motion by running the head up and down the aluminum extrusion by turning the drive handle. The head should move with little effort. If the drive handle feels hard to turn, you may have to adjust the top guide block adjusting bolts out slightly to relieve some of the pressure. The correct amount of pressure is such that the head does not move with respect to the aluminum extrusion when being rocked by hand in any direction, but still operates with little effort when turning the drive handle. Lastly, an inspection of the black urethane strip is always a good idea to ensure that the roller laser will perform its best. Start by making a mark on the laser indicating where the active slots of the face strip are located. Now, remove the face strip and inspect the black urethane strip for excessive wear, looking for deep grooves or missing pieces of black urethane strip. Replace the urethane strip if necessary and reinstall the face strip, being sure to put slight pressure with your fingers against the back of bar assembly to ensure that the face strip clears the leading edge of the black urethane strip.